I was six or seven years old. There had been an earthquake somewhere. There was a war and a blockade. The editor said everything is going to be fine soon. I wondered when this soon would come. In the morning, my sister and I went to school, taking with us small pillows made by mom. The wooden chairs in the classroom were cold to sit on. On our way, we saw people going to work on foot many kilometers away, carefully bypassing ice and snow. Coming back home, we sat on the sofa and repeated, "Lights, please turn on! Lights, please turn on!" The lights turned on, but only for one hour. It was such a confusing situation for us, especially for Mum, who had to manage to do the laundry, ironing, and cooking. Our meals consisted of only pasta of different kinds. By the way, my dad still refuses to eat it. An hour later, the darkness returned for another twenty-three long hours. Late in the evening, our neighbors gathered in the house to talk or to play games under the light of a candle or a homemade kerosene lamp. The darkness was more bearable that way. Before going to bed, we put on several layers of clothing, two pairs of socks, and a hat. I loved it when Mom wrapped me in the blanket. I felt so warm and secure. A minute later, I was asleep. Now everything is different. Each of us has their own room, bright, warm, and large. We have our own phones, computers. TVs, the comfortable life has become a common thing. The dark and cold years of my childhood were the price my parents' generation had to pay for making the choice to live in an independent Armenia.